Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new game. This is a game called I Am Overburdened. It's a roguelike that I found in my email inbox. And this one caught my eye because it's selling itself as the Joey of roguelikes. Now, if that confuses you, I think it's supposed to because it came with a little picture and I'm gonna pop this up right now. Could I be wearing any more artifacts? So, I guess the conceit of this game is you wear a lot of coats, you wear a lot of pants, you wear a lot of hats, all because they're really powerful and you'd be silly not to. So, you, I guess your inventory size is about 20 uh, out of like a hundred or so different artifacts. Everything is an, ar an artifact and they grant you magical powers and stuff. So, this sounds interesting and it intrigued me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the audio down because good god, it's pretty loud. It sounds like it's a good level. All right, we're going to uh, uh, All right. All right, we're going to start. We're going to go normal. The flooded cave level 1. We're going to see if we can actually figure out how to play. They closed the trap door. I think I'll have to find another way out. Ew, it's making squishy noises. All right. So if you don't know what a roguelike plays like, it's pretty simple. I mean, you have this little turn-based uh, turn-based, tile-based combat system. I think I'm just gonna, like, straight up die here? Do I have anything to, like... Can I- can I eat the meat that I have in my inventory? Or am I supposed to, like... Okay, they only attack me if I attack them. So maybe I don't want to fight those bats. Unless I have to. So I'm gonna grab all this stuff. Red shirt. Rank security officer. Emergency call. Beam me up. I should put that to use in my inventory, is that what it said? Has 20% chance to save you from death by teleporting you to a nearby location. And it increases my... It increases my pans, it increases my coffee beans, and it increases my four-leaf clovers. I'm guessing the pan is attack, the four-leaf clover is luck, and the coffee bean is stamina? Maybe? Look, I, I don't, I don't want to even pretend to know. So I'm not going to fight those, because I haven't seen any experience. I think it said there is no experience. The stairs collapsed under me. They must be ancient. Better watch my step. I cannot afford you. Well, I'm going to fight what I have to fight. Oh, cool. I was able to kill that rat pretty easily. <sighs> These stats are weird. I don't know how to read them. All right, here's my plan. If I if this bat doesn't dodge me, I'll kill it. Well, that was an if. I said if. Okay, immortalize your final numbers. I don't. Was that save the game? They closed the trap door. I think I'll have to find another way out. Alright, this chest isn't locked behind money. Ringmaster's silver fist necklace. Belong to what? Plus 10 gold gained for defense bonus pickups, but reduces your defense by 10%? What? Alright, I don't know if I like that at all. Don't dodge me, you piece of bat. Man, that guy just trashed me. I feel like my character's... Oh, my defense is lowered by 10%. Is that what the pans are? So I got another meat. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what any of this is. Is there a help? Progress. Statistics. Well, <clears throat> it tells me nothing. <laughs> All right. Oh, dude, critical hit. All right, so I ate another piece of meat. It looked, I ate a carrot. The carrot looked like it increased my... Uh, the carrot looked like it increased my amount of um, health. So I think we want carrots. Stairs collapsed behind me. So yeah, that increased my health. That definitely increased my health. That's a heal, which is... Obviously really good. Slowly, I feel like I'm starting to understand the stats. We got no unnoteworthy greaves. Feels heavy, but shields well. 
Reduces your speed by 10% for initiative trials. But it gives me plus one carrot and plus four pans. I guess the pans are my defense, and the carrot's my health. That makes sense, but why did my carrots go down? I swear I was at 14 just a second ago. Well, now I'm back at 14. Engagement ring? This is going to cost you a lot for the rest of your life. One less gold found every time you pick up gold or, or loot a monster. Um, plus two carrots, plus three coffee beans, and plus two luck. What is the coffee beans for again? All right, so you can loot monsters. So I guess there is some reason to kill things. All right, maybe not. Maybe, maybe they don't always drop stuff. All right, this is the farthest we've made it so far. Nature Walker Tabard, ease of movement from a durable cloth. Extra speed and defense at the uh, defense bonus at the same time. Oh, the coffee beans are speed! I understand now. My mouth tastes like rotten penguin meat. I'm poisoned. Man. I don't want to be poisoned. Well, I one shot that guy. I don't need that yet. I have no reason to grab that yet. So we're doing, we're doing pretty well. Our speed is high enough to destroy these bats. I just crit that guy. He had no chance. Don't dodge me. I can one-shot the uh, rats, too, apparently. As long as they don't dodge me. So I guess killing them immediately loots them. Whoops. That's a wall. I found a wall. <laughs> Alright, we, we have full health. We're gonna go down to the next level. Oh, in a shop. Welcome to the Black Raven Market. Choose wisely. You can only buy one. I'll take back the rest. You know what? How about I buy none of them? Stupid bird. <laughs> Alright, Filthy Sewers, level one. Why did nobody warn me about this smell? What? My eyes are dazzling. That must have been a hallucination. Why are there hallucinations here? All right, I can't one-shot you. But there's plenty of healy stuff. So let's take advantage of it. Have I ever dodged an attack? I wonder about that. Am I gonna have something to do with all my money? Yeah, I got 69 gold right now. I would like to... I would like to buy something. What are we... Empty? Cheap. You cheapskate. Alright, there's a crab right there. I don't know if I really want to fight the crab. The name of this game seems to be... Be as efficient as possible with the little health that you have. Spyglass reveals the true stance of monsters? You mean health? Health bars of the monsters are visible when equipped and reveals hallucinations. Interesting. Alright, forget forget the crab. We don't need to fight the crab. We'll kill the things that we can one-shot. And then move on with our lives. Oh, that gave me a defense. Nice. As far as I can tell, the only thing I'm getting for a kill is uh, a little bit of money. Yeah, three hits on the crab. That's not a great use of my resources, is it? So we can kill this. We'll kill that. We'll get a coffee bean and uh, have a very triumphant fanfare as a result. So how do we get stronger? Maybe I need to pick up a weapon. I, have, I haven't actually picked up a weapon yet. If I can pick up a weapon, I can kill the crabs in two shots. And I think that, that would help me out a lot. Welcome to the Black Raven Market. Backpack of lack, being a completionist is a virtue. 
Picking up an item for the first time, including this one, heals you for one point. Fantastic. That could be useful. Alright, so there's that shop that I was asking for. I get the feeling that somebody's following me. Why would you why would you get that feeling? Oh dude, nice crit. Plus 16 gold, plus 16 gold. Yeah, let's not let's not kill everything if we don't gotta. Well. Dude. There is no way I'm getting out of this alive. It's not a lizard man, it's a frog man. Frogman's gonna kill me though. That's too bad. There's nothing I could do. Immortalize. Uh. Eight char. Oh! Attributes, attack, defense, vitality, speed, and luck. My vitality got pretty high. Reached Howling Barracks level 2, killed by the Frogman. Alright. We're gonna try again. We're gonna hope we get a weapon this time. Got a free endurance out of that. Nice. There's a health potion over there. We'll save that for a rainy day. Dude. Bats do not deserve to do that much damage to me. They're the easiest enemy in the game. My skill is clearly beyond whatever they have to offer. Where are we? The stairs collapsed under me. They must be ancient. Oh yeah, it's saying, he's saying the same thing. One thing I do wish this game had. So when you enter a new floor, it shows you where you are. Like, uh, a circle shrinks or grows from where you spawned. I think that would be helpful in finding out where I am, because I'm searching for myself at the beginning of every every floor. Like, the, the dust isn't quite enough. Alright, so we have a treasure chest up there, being guarded by an eel. I guess there's an eel guarding on both sides regardless. I, I probably shouldn't call it an eel. It's more of a leech, right? This is this is finally our first item. Pirate's eye patch. Buying something in the market costs 15 less gold. Okay. That only cost one. Fine. Or that only gave me one. That's what I meant to say. Alright, luckily, there's this, and there's... Plus two endurance, or plus two... Oh wait, the meat is a... The meat is attack! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can be filled with beverages found in... Casks? Oh, chests. Heals you for one health point when opening a chest. Fantastic, actually. Insignificant ring. In case you tie... In case of a tie-in initiative, you will start the battle. Cool. Probably shouldn't have attacked that guy. This is what I get out of it. It's five gold. Something like that. Not worth it. Alright, I'm at the point where I should be killing every single rat that I come across because I can one-shot them. And it gives me money. It gives me a little bit of money. Not a lot, but just enough to, to be worth my time. So we'll kill this guy. We'll move on with our lives. This is going to be the last level of the sewers, I believe. Now oh, there's crabs every- where am I? Now oh, there's crabs everywhere. There's a lot of crabs here. I'm not a fan of this. At least I can kill him in two shots. Okay, so we have our first choice. We get to switch to the finger traps, reduces the attack power of your enemies by three on each successful hit. I think I'll switch to this, actually.
What? Maybe that wasn't the best idea? Because now that I'm thinking about it... Like, nothing's hitting me really hard. You know? So we'll, we'll keep that. We'll stop running into walls, because that's not helping us at all. And I'm not gonna go get that, because I think the crabs will kill me if I go over there. What is this? Ordinary Great Helm comes with an ordinary defense and slightly reduced sight? What does reduced sight mean? 5% of your attacks miss their... Okay. Well, that sucks. So I wonder what it means whenever my stats are yellow. Why you gotta hurt me, dog? Good lord. Am I gonna make this? Drink that. Open that. A prayer could turn poison into wine. 33 luck for a better chance of finding unknown potions with a positive effect. Do I dare? Yes, I do dare. Dude, nice crit. Plus two attack, plus three defense, minus one speed. All right, we've got a good offensive build going compared to what we had before. Our offense previously was trash. It was garbage. It was garbage trash. Where even am I? Okay, I found me. Still can't one-shot those. Maybe I can one-shot the eels? So we got this again, defense and speed. Yeah, I can one-shot the eels now. That makes me happy. 33% chance to steal one health when inflicting damage. Only 10% against undead. undead. Mm. I think that's... It's pretty solid, actually. My mouth tastes like rotten... What? How did I get poisoned? How did I get poisoned? That ain't right. Dude, I can three-shot the frogs now. I do so much damage. It looks like... It looks like the way defense works in this game is straight plus and minus. Down to a minimum of one. So every point of attack is going to be pretty, pretty powerful. Look at that. Five. Got it. Nailed it. Ah! He was a fake. Ooh, a defense potion? Man, now I feel like super confident in fighting like literally everything. This vampire cloak is overpowered. Delicious. The big ol' hunk of meat. My attack is really high, my defense is at 12. Nothing's dealt more than one damage to me so far. Let's grab that. More health is good. It'd be cool to be able to fill my inventory completely. Knock, knock on the door, on the vault door and wonder what, what, missed it. All right, so that's doing two damage to me now. Dude, there's no way I'm gonna make it in there. I want that broccoli though. Nice miss, interrupted. Oh crap, this guy's gonna kill me. And here I was feeling conf, Okay. <laughs> nice hallucination, bro. Leather pauldron. Plus, oh, 25%, plus 25 percent speed for your initiative trials besides the protection bonus. I have no idea what that means. But we get plus two defense and plus one speed, so that's great. We're two shotting frogs now. We're about to get a little more attack. which will be handy against this guy. And it's not going to be enough. I, c I can't go down there and fight that pig man. I'm just... I don't have enough... I don't have enough juice in my goose to go do that. 
There's nothing I can do here to survive, I think. Because I have to kill two pigmen. There we go. No one will b ever bury that corpse. Alright, well... I think that's good for this first episode. I might do one, maybe two more episodes of this. I'm enjoying this so far for what it is. I'm curious to see what lies beyond. And hopefully I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.